Hello, my name is Sajnar Simon. I'm a product manager uh, in Google Cloud for uh, Cloud AI Notebooks. Today, I'm going to walk you through an overview of Cloud AI Notebooks, um, our managed JupyterLab Notebook service for enterprises on Google Cloud. Uh, today, we'll explore how Cloud AI Notebooks can help you explore data quickly um, and develop uh, an AI and ML model um, and deploy it into production. Artificial intelligence and machine learning um, is uh, are one of the most uh, uh, are one of the key dis disruptive technologies that um, enterprises have encountered in the last four or five years, um, and AI and ML will continue to disrupt en enterprises uh, going forward for the next uh, ten years. Um, the key to uh, unlocking value with artificial intelligence starts with a model. Uh, and the simplest way to develop a model is to use notebooks um, and within notebooks to use open source frameworks to develop uh, AI models. Uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and many other o OSS um, distributions exist today that can help you quickly develop a model and gain insights. As a uh, data point, uh, today more than 8 million um, Jupyter notebooks run on GitHub. Um, and this, note, uh, this notebook count only uh, is going to continue uh, to grow. Google has been in the forefront of uh, bringing notebooks to different uh, segments of customers uh, over the past decade. Um, Kaggle, for example, is targeted at enthusiasts and people who are learning to be data scientists. Colab is targeted at individual researchers and students, um, and it provides a collaborative environment for um, developing data science uh, algorithms. AI platform notebooks are targeted towards enterprises. This means that AI platform notebooks come with uh, security built in, which enterprises really care about. Um, today, we're going to spend some time uh, looking at AI platforms um, and how it can speed up your model development. So as we noted, enterprises want insights in days, not weeks. This means that uh, data scientists want to focus on the difficult job of model development and not essentially the peripheral task that goes around running a notebook and the infrastructure associated with a notebook. Enterprises encounter several challenges um, in running notebooks and open source frameworks. The first thing uh, is around managing open source frameworks and making these, uh, making the operating systems, the frameworks, and the dependencies work correctly. Hosting notebooks and maintaining them on top of these frameworks is an additional pain point. Customers also want to make sure that uh, the access to the data that data scientists use and the models developed from the notebook themselves are secure um, and they're only accessible by the right personnel. Since AI and ML involves accessing data across the enterprise landscape, um, it is important for a notebook service to connect with all of the data sources that reside within uh, an enterprise's data estate. Our AI platform notebook service solves these problems by providing three key features. Um, we completely manage the uh, installation of the Jupyter Notebook environment, um, along with all the open source frameworks and dependencies. So you don't have to manage um, any of that lifecycle. Uh, our notebooks also ship with uh, security features like VPC SC, uh, CMAC, and other um, GCP horizontal features built in. And Cloud AI Notebooks is also integrated with several uh, uh, data services like BigQuery and uh, Dataproc that we'll dive into a little later. Uh, notebooks are really easy to get started. All you have to do is to go to the GCP console, um, find a notebooks under the AI platform notebook, um, create a new instance with the required deep learning framework and the type of VM that you want to run the notebook on. So what makes Cloud AI Notebooks a fully managed experience? What we do uh, as part of Cloud AI Notebooks is to pre-install uh, all the client libraries and all the environments. We support popular uh, open source environments like TensorFlow, PyTorch, um, and mathematical libraries like NumPy and SciPy. Um, to plot, we also provide open source tools like matplotlib, um, built right into our deep learning VM. On top of uh, these deep learning VMs, our notebooks run and they take advantage um, of these deep learning libraries. Um, customers can configure the notebooks through the Cloud Console. However, they can also get a link to access the Jupyter Notebook using a proxy outside of the GCP console. Cloud AI Notebooks are um, designed to work with different kinds of uh, compute instances within GCP. 
um, Cloudy AI notebooks can run with DLVMs, as we just spoke about. These are GCE instances that come pre-installed with deep learning frameworks. Cloudy AI notebooks can also work with data proc clusters and data flow. Um, AI Cloudy AI platforms also work with custom containers. So if you had a specific deep learning library that you want to run within the custom container, um, you can do so and install a notebook uh, on top of these containers. We will talk a little bit more about our data proc integration in, uh, in the slides that follow. Cloud AI Platform also works with uh, data sources within a GCP, like BigQuery. So you'll be able to query data that's stored within BigQuery and use that data to train your models. Let's take a look at how AI Platform Notebooks are architected. AI Platform Notebooks are designed to work with a variety of compute instances. We just talked about uh, how it works with deep learning VMs, which are GCE container, uh, GCE um, instances with pre-installed deep learning frameworks within the VM. AI platform notebooks also work with data proc clusters and data flow. AI platform notebooks also work with custom containers, which means that if you have a special uh, deep learning framework that you want to run, you can create a custom container out of it and have AI Platform Notebooks work with those containers. AI Platform Notebooks work with a variety of data sources within GCP. For example, you can query data from BigQuery, use that data as the basis to train your model. AI Platform Notebooks are also well integrated with Git repositories and other source control systems, so it's easy to push uh, and pull code um, into these repositories. So why would you want to use AI Platform Notebooks? AI Platform Notebooks makes it really easy to uh, get started with your model development. Since you don't have to deal with installing these deep learning frameworks um, or setting up the notebook environment, you can get started very, very quickly. Uh, in addition, since uh, AI Platform Notebooks is a managed Jupyter Lab service, the environment around code development is very familiar for data scientists. AI Platform Notebooks enable you to scale and control costs effectively. So you could start with a very small instance for model development. And as you ramp up your training, you could move to a bigger VM, or better yet, you could use a GPU or much powerful machines in order to train your models. Um, AI Platform Notebooks comes with security built in. So as we talked about, uh, VPC SE, uh, IAM controls, as well as CMAC controls are built right into AI Platform Notebooks. AI Platform Notebooks are also integrated with other services within GCP, so it plays within an ecosystem of analytic tools as well as our AI Platform. So AI Platform makes it really easy to build, train, and deploy these models. Let's talk about some recent updates that we have made to our notebook service in the last six months. We recently announced um, an integration with Kaggle. Kaggle, as you may know, is a community of 5 million data scientists who write and share code. With this integration between Kaggle and AI Platform Notebooks, customers have access to GCP's limitless and customizable compute environment that allows users to scale up their work very easily. We've already seen thousands of customers from Kaggle go to Cloud AI Notebooks uh, using this integration, um, and we expect these numbers to grow uh, in the next few months. One of the recent integrations we announced was with Dataproc uh, through the Smart Analytics Framework. Um, the Smart Analytics Framework brings together uh, Apache Beam and Dataproc together with uh, AI Platform Notebooks. Customers typically uh, need to analyze petabytes of data before starting to work on a model. With this built-in integration with Spark, analytics and deep learning can be authored from one place. The Data Proc Hub brings um, enterprise controls to Spark clusters based on notebook inter interfaces. If you want to learn further about Apache Beam notebooks, there's a fantastic tutorial when you launch um, when you launch a notebook using Smart Analytics Framework and when you choose Apache Beam. As you can see, the experience to, to using Smart Analytics Framework is super easy to get started. All you would have to do is pick the Smart Analytics uh, Frameworks choice and either pick Apache Beam or Dataproc distributions instead of a TensorFlow or a PyTorch distribution as you would for a deep learning environment. So the goal of Cloud AI Notebooks is to help you develop models quickly and allow you to easily scale and streamline that model within your production workflows. Let's take a quick look at some of the examples around how you can go about doing that. Cloud AI Notebooks provides a means to uh, plug into your data pipelines uh, that enables feature engineering as well as data labeling very easily. 
Cloud AI Notebooks helps you model your data efficiently with what if analysis and also uh, uh, embedded in AutoML capabilities. You can evaluate your model quickly with feature attributions, what if analysis, and continuous evaluations. We've also built in al algorithms like optimization, AutoML, and NAS right into Cloud AI Notebooks that makes model developments uh, simple and faster. On top of this, uh, Cloud AI Notebooks runs on a hybrid platform uh, and a multi-cloud platform that also has access to some of the most powerful compute you will find anywhere in the world, for example, TPUs. Cloud AI Notebooks uh, makes it easy for you to scale and streamline your model development with ease. Cloud AI Notebooks works in an ecosystem of uh, data services and AI services. Cloud AI Notebooks is, can be easily integrated into your data pipeline. So if you uh, ingest data using Data Fusion uh, or transform data using Data Proc and put it into BigQuery, um, you can easily access that data, label the data, and use that data for training. As previously mentioned, uh, Notebooks also makes it easy to build, uh, develop, and train a model with uh, built-in tools such as pre-built algorithms, AutoML, and access to our training service. Cloud AI Notebooks also makes it easy to deploy these models uh, by verifying your model performance using explainable AI, as well as directly deploying the model into our prediction service. Our prediction service also ships with a continuous evaluation feature uh, that helps you to monitor the model um, once it's in production. All these competents are built with access to a pipeline that makes it easier to containerize and monitor the entire workflow end-to-end. -end. One such tool that's built into uh, AI platform notebooks is Explainable AI. Explainable AI is a set of libraries that help you figure out why your model made a particular prediction. For example, on the right, you can see a color-coded heat map um, of what the most important features were in making a particular prediction. Explainable AI can be used with tabular, image, text, TensorFlow models. Uh, Explainable AI also ships with a built-in what if tool. When, with a what if tool, you could change uh, the values for attributes the, that you're building with a model and figure out how much it impacts the prediction of that particular model. Explain, uh, explainable AI libraries are already available in some of our deep learning distributions today, and they'll be available in more in the coming weeks. Of course, uh, AI Platform Notebooks uh, runs in an AI-optimized uh, infrastructure within GCP. For example, um, our V3 uh, TPU pods provide 84% faster performance in both object detection and machine translation compared to on-prem uh, infrastructure. This AI-optimized infrastructure is only uh, available on GCP uh, among public clouds, and they clearly out outperform on-prem systems in MLperf. Looking ahead uh, at our roadmap uh, extending beyond 2020, it's worth looking back uh, on where we came from. We launched AI Platform Notebooks in beta in April 2019. And since the time that we have launched, we've seen tremendous interest among enterprises um, for developing models using Cloud AI Notebooks. We've seen significant user growth and adoption in the last year uh, that helped us successfully GA the product in March 2020. Beyond 2020, we hope to build in uh, features around machine learning operations, lineage tracking, collaboration, and integration across our entire analytics estate. As next steps, we invite you to read our uh, Notebooks Manifesto blog that's available on the Google Cloud blog site, as well as get started with Cloud AI Notebooks using a five-minute tutorial that's available on our product page. You can also learn about all the features and in-depth documentation on the product page on Google Cloud Platform. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and you have a good rest of the day and you enjoy our other next 20 presentations.